Now, the price tag for the Broncos will be the most money ever paid for an American sports franchise. It's more than double the previous record set by the sale of the Brooklyn Nets for $2.3 billion. Alan Janae has a closer look at this deal. And, Alan, the big question here is, are the Broncos really worth that price? Well, it's a good question, Kelly. And, you know, this week we've been talking about whether this deal is worth it. And we've also been talking about the average price of homes in Denver, now up at about $631,000 for the average home. With $4.65 billion, you could buy more than 7,300 of those homes. So the big question is now, in this record deal, is it worth it? The stadium sits quietly in the offseason. North of four and a half billion dollars. While the talk about the Broncos' likely new owners is heard everywhere. Well, we are continuing to cover breaking news. $4.65 billion is just a stunning amount. Is it justified? It is justified, absolutely. Kurt uh, Badenhausen is, is now a reporter for Sportica. For years, he was one of those behind the tracking and valuing of NFL teams for Ford. And a lot has changed, including new, richer media deals. Every NFL team, when the new media deals kick in, are looking at $400 million a year before they sell one ticket, one beer, one anything. But now teams are also branching out. Not long ago, Broncos President Joe Ellis talked about the Broncos deal at Empower Field, which has nine years left. Something you do have to look at right away if you're a new owner, for sure. In L.A., Stan Kroenke has created a mega development around the Rams' new home. It's the NFL's West Coast headquarters for all intents and purposes, um, what they built there. And they've guaranteed themselves Super Bowls and every sorts of marquee event, uh, World Cup games, any marquee sporting event. But there's more. The NFL is looking at stepping into the profitable gambling market and your data. Increasingly, things are all being done through some sort of app. So they're seeing what you order, where you parked. You know, and that means more marketing of you and me so that we spend more money. And that is an entirely new revenue stream that didn't exist just a few years ago. Now, Rob Walton can borrow up to a billion dollars if he wants to, or really doesn't need to, but if he wants to in this deal. But that borrowing and that investment might just be a good risk for anybody else who wants to get involved. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First. All right, Alan, thank you.